1960, this university came up. And we came up with three mandates, teaching, research, and extension. First agricultural university of the country, a vast campus in this Tarai. And the mission and the vision of this university, going ahead towards bringing up such people, such learned scholars who can revitalize the rural scenario, the agricultural scenario of the country. With this vision, we started. Going ahead with Pantnagar University's vision and mission, or the quest of excellence, we came up with multiple experiments since 1960 till date. And this educational technology, technology cell is one of the components that we added, looking in terms of whatsoever conspires within four walls of a classroom. Is it merely like content delivery from this side to this side or this side to that side? Or it's beyond it? Does it really come up to learning environment in classroom situation? Does it really reach up to that optimization of learning situation that must emerge within the, these four walls? And here only we come, came up with this concept of educational technology cell. Prior to this educational technology cell concept of this university, if we go through the history, we will come up to understand that all leading organizations throughout the world, they, come, they came up earlier even about center of teaching learning excel. So world is worried about whatever comes up within classroom situation, is it really learning? Or is it merely transmission of content from one party to another? Both things are totally different. So we came up with this concept of educational technology cell. Our dean, Dr. Jay Kumar, he visioned, he coined up, and with the team, we started working under Department of Agricultural Communication. This department has a history of working towards educational excellence. Lots of research is around it. So we received this responsibility, and under that, we started lots of programs within this university fortnightly for staff members of this university. And then for last one year, we started this national capacity building program where the only mandate of the training with which we come up is how to generate that motivation within teachers so that really learning comes up in classroom situation, classroom environment. And then what set of skills do we need for that? And then teachers, learned scholars coming from different colleges, universities throughout the country, when we merge up at one place with our own vision, with our own skills, with our own mandates, with our own experiences, when we come together at a place in such trainings, this training becomes like an yagya, where we come together, we put our own experiences, our own deliverances, and then we learn from each other. So this is what the platform is. Again, welcoming you all at the onset of this training today in this program, and especially Dr. J.P. Pandey sir, Dr. J. Kumar sir, who actually worked behind designing this training program, bringing you up to this university, and then going ahead into five days. We will be having their blessings day by day in these five days even, so that we come up to some purposeful ending of this training program where we, while leaving this training program, we leave quenched, we leave satisfied that these five days were worthwhile. So with these words, I again welcome you all and thank you for your long journeys you delivered, people from Tamil Nadu, people from all parts of life coming up to this place.